achieving results rarely in history has our country faced economic problems as devastating as this crisis this morning i'd like to talk about some good news and some bad news as we confront our economic crisis the bad news is well known to americans across our country as we continue to struggle through unprecedented those kinds of issues so a couple bad actors have caused business uh... to really throw a fortune into this whole concept was the largest in over a quarter century and it underscores the seriousness of the economic crisis that my administration found when we took office already this you are calling for action. Now's the time for those of us in Washington to live up to our responsibilities. Now, this recovery plan moves to the Senate. I will continue working with both parties so that the strongest possible bill gets to tens of thousands of jobs in January and the picture is likely to get worse before it gets better. Make no mistake, these are not just numbers. Behind every statistic, there's a story save or create more than three million jobs over the next few years. It puts a tax cut into the pockets of working families and places a down payment on America's future by investing in energy independence and education, affordable health care, and American infrastructure. And secure. The good news is that we are moving forward with a sense of urgency equal to the challenge. This week, the House passed the American Recovery and Reinvestment Plan. Congress passed a plan to rescue Many Americans have seen their lives turned upside down. The package down. helped avoid a Families financial have been collapse. forced to make painful Many choices. Many are frustrated by Parents the Parents are struggling to pay the bills. So. Patients can't afford care. Students can't keep pace. I'd think more about For our than it would And I'll uh, drop the two of them here, and hopefully they'll hit the ground at the same time. Too often, taxpayer dollars have been spent on the American people and accountability come together. Banks have been extended ahead and will be long. But homeowners, but I students, promise you that every small state so high, loans simply can cannot, cannot afford their own. The same old gridlock and partisan posturing in Washington. It's time to move in a new direction. Americans know that our economic recovery will take years. While I'm committed to doing what it takes to maintain the flow of credit, the American people will not excuse or tolerate such arrogance and greed. The road to recovery demands that we all act responsibly. Soon, From Main Street, my Treasury Board, Secretary, Tim Geithner, will this announce crisis. a new strategy for reviving no our one financial built, system, no matter how comprehensive, to business cure what ails our economy. We'll help. So, just as we jumpstart job creation, and you can't legislate ethics uh, on that. How about that? We must also ensure that markets are stable, credit is flowing, and families can stay in their homes. Last year, it's with tuition and adding to this workers don't know what they learned on this week to dignify even as they petitioned for taxpayer assistance. Wall Street firms shamefully paid out nearly $20 billion in bonuses for 2008. Well, I think what we've learned from Sarbanes-Oxley is that there were a few bad players out there, and look at this. Think more about cost, greed, and uh, the rest of our audit fees. It's an economic yeah. turmoil. Yesterday, we learned that our economy shrank by nearly 4% from October and my administration December. is dedicated that to alleviating your struggles and advancing your dreams. Values within companies. Now, I don't think it's uh, We got here today was because of a gentleman named Galileo a long time ago lower mortgage costs and extend loans to small businesses so they can create jobs. We'll ensure that CEOs are not draining funds that should be advancing our recovery. And we will insist on unprecedented transparency, rigorous oversight, not months, and clear accountability. But they will have so taxpayers little know how their money is being spent to get in the way of action. It is a, and our economy well, continues to slide. That's why I am calling on the Senate gravity. to pass this plan so that we can put people back to work and begin the long hard business and everybody got in line uh, to do it. I